All right, let's take a look at our first component of our uh, Wittig rea rea reaction, and that's our ILID. So it's pronounced IL, ID, ILID. Um, and this is a very powerful, obviously, reagent, and it has phosphorus in it, which we won't see too much of in this course, but phosphorus is actually very powerful in organic chemistry and is used quite often. Um, so think about it. There's two resonance structures that are mainly important, one with a double bond and then one with a single bond. Right. You may not you may not think that this uh, one on the right is a significant contributor, but it is um, because phosphorus and carbon are so uh, different in size. It's actually quite hard for them to generate a pi bond and the pi bond is, is not very good. This is actually the main um, resonance structure of this compound. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, let's see how we're going to prep our ILID. And so what we do is basically we just have an alkyl halide. And then we take our phosphorus our PPH3, and it just does an SN2 reaction to replace our alkyl halide with now our PPH3. Which then has a positive charge. Note that we still have a hydrogen left over here. And so what we need to do is we need to use a base to essentially do an E2 reaction. Um, so we're just going to pick up this hydrogen and then we're going to kick um, either this onto the double bond or onto the carbon, depends which resonance structure you like to draw. Um, I like to draw the double bond one, even though it's not the major component. Maybe I should uh, change my mind about that. I don't know. Um, in general, the base used here, you need a very strong base to do this. Um, the most common one is what's known as N-butyl lithium. So it's called N-B-U and then L-I for N-butyl lithium. And basically it's just uh, butane with a negative charge and then there's a lithium counter ion. So use some kind of very strong base to deprotonate it. And now you've got a strong base that can uh, form your ILID. Uh, in general, right, we are undergoing an SN2 reaction here. Um, with tertiary compounds, you can't do this reaction because then you have no hydrogen to remove. With secondary alkyl halides, it's possible, but primary or methyl is a lot easier. So um, if you can generate the primary or the methyl, choose that over a secondary, depending on what you need to make. 